Ok, so, eh, un saludo a todos desde mi mano herida. <laughs> so, uh, I wanted to begin by showing you that film, which I did in, actually I didn't do it, I think the ocean did it. There was no director in this film, as you can see, the waves decided what to do and the camera and I are just following the movement of the waves. I began working in Concon, a particular site in the coast of Chile, 40 years ago, in 1960. And I continued to go there and to do this kind of work. Today, I received from Rosa Alcala an email telling me, you see, science continues to catch up with you. She sends me a link to a website by Science Friday reporting in the journal Nature Physics, William Irvine and Dustin Pleckner of the University of Chicago are now describing a noted fluid that has been created in the lab. This, they report, is the first knot made of water. Water shapes itself like pretzels. I don't know if you can see this little drawing. Laura, can this drawing be seen? Yes, can. You can see? Yes, we can. Okay, that is the second drawing in my book, Instant, published in 2002, and it's about the word time, except that the word time, instead of beginning, here is the T, I, N, E, you can see that the drawing moves like a pretzel, and it really begins in reverse. It begins with the E, N, I, T. So time is emitting this form, and this form is transformed in the second line in time-bending tank. So time, this mysterious name that really means to cut and represents, according to the dictionary, the continuity of a space-time, yet it is cut, it's really a knot, a knot in time and space. And I wanted to begin with the film Con Con because while working in this site, I engaged myself in the discovery of what is this word con mean. And con, according to Chileans, is a completely forgotten word of the pre-Columbian people that lived in this area, starting perhaps 10,000 years ago. And I went on searching for the meaning of con, and just a couple of days, I encountered that in Japanese Zen Buddhism, the Japanese word con, the root con, from konpontegi or kongontegi, is equivalent to the German ur, you are. In Chile, con is the life force, is the propulsive energy inside the thread, inside water, inside the life force itself. Un, con, is the power of the impulse, a longing before time, space, a poetic reality. Sun Ra says that space is the place but in my work, it seems that time is the place. The yaki of the Sonoran Desert say that a place is not a place, it is a state of consciousness. Time is consciousness, perhaps, the quantum physicists say today, 
Frank close, a physicist says, the vanishing of antimatter is the greatest disappearing act in history. How did matter survive the great annihilation? Everything that we see is the degree of a grander creation. Particles are self-aware, he says. They are conscious because we are conscious. We are conscious because the cosmos is conscious, I say. Las células son anticipatorias, el tiempo no existe, la información viene del futuro. The poem works as an anticipatory cell, as a supra, as a para biological cell, cell, cell that absorbs and emits light. Mathematics is autonomous as poetry is. I know we only have perhaps two more minutes left. And I know that you have been talking about memory and guessing because I heard the word memory mentioned. I wrote, like perhaps 15 years ago, a text about history about the fact that my precarious work has always been disappearing. In the very early days, I didn't even take photos or films of the works. I just worked for the perception, for the crisscrossing gazes of the people that were present by chance in the events I did in the streets of Santiago or in the beaches of Concon. The first precarious works were not documented, they existed only for the memory of a few citizens. History as a fabric of inclusion, of exclusion, did not embrace them. They disappeared from the history of art, both of Chile and of everywhere else. The history of the North excludes that of the South, and the history of the South excludes itself, embracing only the North reflection. In the void between the two, the precarious and its non-documentation establish the non-place as another reality. At the time I wrote that piece, I wasn't really aware of the non-local manifestation of time and space. Now time and space are really words that are being questioned even by quantum physicists. For example, Frank Wilson proposes to just call it greed. In Quechua, space-time is just one word, pasha, meaning that time and space interact and transform and create each other in words, in ways that we do not really comprehend. In another text that I wrote, perhaps in the mid-90s, I said when I called my work Arte Precario, an energy was born. The two words transformed each other. Doing, I said, lo precario became a prayer and prayer a doing. The precarious is the instant of transformation. I was naming my work for its disappearance, for the great disappearing act. The art of naming through the act 
of disappearance is so ancient that the path of the planets, the sun and the moon is named for the disappearance, the ecliptic. In Quaquitl, a string figures are named for the power of the solution. In the Andes, you take leftovers to change the future. Lots in Kibus are changes. Continuity in obliteration, in death, resurrection. The breeze is a past to come. An object is not an object, it is the witness of a relationship. Time is to cut and to join. Art is the form of perception. Consciousness is the art. Con means to join and share. In consciousness, in consciousness is to cut. Consciousness is to join and to cut the dove movement of the weaver. Humanity begins tomorrow, Macedonio Fernandez says. And I think I used up my seven minutes.